Good morning, everybody. Uh, I have here Helga Hecht, uh, who was the session chair at uh, session five um, for the tool updates at the Use Galaxy 2022 conference, also called, also called as Galaxy Community Conference. Uh, so, Helg, I had a few questions um, about, you know, first, welcome to Minneapolis. Um, <laughs> uh, how, uh, how did you think the session went? What were the main uh, interesting topics that you learned there? I think the session was really nice. Um, for me personally, the most interesting talk was the observable HQ, mm -hmm. um, simply because visualizations are kind of like one of the weak points of Galaxy. I mean, it's nice that you have like the, the UI for not having to run things on the command line, but a lot of people want to just inspect their data. They want to do one step and then have a look at like how the data looks and or even before they for example choose parameters for a tool mm -hmm. um, so i think adding this visualization capabilities to galaxy is really important in getting a larger user base and getting more people to actually work with galaxy um, because it just allows them to better use their intuition about the data and about what they actually want to analyze and to do right, right. so that was that was for me the personal favorite I would say okay okay any other interesting talks uh, from your session that you'd like to mention I mean they were they were all interesting um, what is cool are like that many people address the these aspects of galaxy which might be like a hurdle or like a, a stopper for people to get into galaxy mm -hmm. so there's the was the pro to redux talk basically about okay we we're not gonna start writing the classic galaxy XML tool and then we have the tool in Galaxy and we do stuff with it, but we actually have like interactive Python, which we can use to sort of generate our Galaxy tools on the fly mm -hmm. and uh, modify them and like rapidly prototype them and be able to still use them in Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And then also the second talks about Galaxy in notebooks being sort of the other way around. So people want to have their interactive Galaxy, uh, their interactive two project notebooks in which they can run stuff, Great. but they don't want to lose the performance of being able to use Galaxy. So it's kind of a very convenient way of using sort of the Galaxy API in a sort of simplified way from inside the Jupyter notebook that you can maybe even run inside the Galaxy. Great. So you have a Galaxy with an interactive notebook in which you can actually run the jobs. Yeah. So I think these are, these are both pretty cool ways of like yeah, getting people to work with Galaxy outside of the traditional way. Right. Um, one last question. I mean, thanks for coming in and attending this in person, but do you have any message for people who are attending online on what they're missing? Oh, uh, you're, you're missing all the good stuff, and I'm very sorry for all the technical difficulties. And thank you so much for hanging with us, especially from the Europe time zone, for being with us, if it, even if it's like 1 a.m. for the Brits of Feather or so. So yeah, yep. looking forward to the next conference. Yep. Thank you, Helgen. And that's it. Thanks. Thank you.